Why are you guys like this? What have you made me do today? My name is a busty cow today, and I regret searching that on Google. And it's forever in my search history now. But thank you to Gurahen for that recommendation. Make sure if you want to see your name and uh, picture come into an episode, uh, comment below and see what you guys, uh, I'll see what you guys come up with. Uh, but for today, we're on to episode number 15 of the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. We're actually, I believe, in Gold 3 Division 4. Yet yeah, we are, and we're almost into Platinum. So this is where we're going to start to see a little bit higher gameplay, a little bit more aerials, and uh, I'm going to be able to do a little more in the games to uh, help my teammates out. But we're going to go jump into these episodes real quick um, and hopefully get Super Sonic Legend before the end of January. But uh, obviously, I do custom maps and stuff on the side. Uh, or for the majority of my videos, so I'm, I'm always hard at work and making new new episodes and new maps like that. So let's get into the next uh, next set of games here and see how they go. Now I did post on the community tab on YouTube that I was going to use this name and picture, so hopefully no one calls me out. They might notice that the uh, <laughs> the name and picture look a little familiar. But we got Basket Heat on my team with Pi 26. Uh, Retro's in the far end here. I'm just going to sit on the far side here. It's a good chance to shoot that, but it's pretty tight. And I'll just let my teammate take this if he runs in here. It's always good to back off and just let my teammate take the shot instead because he's got more power. And there you go. I'll say a nice one there. So me, me just being a presence there and letting uh, the opponents throw the ball away allows my teammate to get a free boom down the field. So... Works out really well. Take the shot, take the shot. I don't know if he means fake. I'm just going to take a normal kickoff there, though. It's a good boom. Once again, rotate behind my teammate. Let him come in for the shot. Now I'll loop in here and stay with the ball and pop it to their corner. I would usually dribble that one, but since this is gold three, I'm going to just try and, you know, pop it towards him, cause a little pressure. Once again, I'm just going to get behind my teammate here. So nice and easy. Nice and loop, loop around them. Um... Waiting for that guy to go past me there. To get touch on the wall. I'll get in the way of that guy, so now my teammate has a free touch. Nearly in too. Well played. The retro popping it down the field. Two players on it. Once again, just gonna back off. You see how valuable this is just for me to go back and forth behind my teammate? Same here with my teammate. Uh, he's backing off and letting me loop in. Pulling up nice and high. And a good pinch too, so great shots by my teammate. Once again, I just had to boom that up the field like this off the backboard. And they're in a panic. They don't know which one to which which one's gonna go for it. And a great finish. Not sure if he meant to pinch it on the floor like that, but it works out. Alright, go for it. This guy's very excited. See in higher ranks, when we double when we double uh calm like that, um it, it actually means the opposite sometimes. <laughs> so it's kind of weird to me to see him do that, but it's all good though. That that pop high it shouldn't be too dangerous. The guy's like running at me, but I'm just gonna loop around him. Moving a little bit too slow there. I could have beat them if I went a little bit faster. I'll cover my teammate by turning in field there. His touch in mid doesn't really uh, doesn't really cause too much danger as long as I'm present there. But if I move back too far and I rotate, uh, then it's gonna be bad for us. Let's see what they do with that. It's a good hit. It's a good try by them. So now I'm I'm alone for a while. But that throwaway right there could could mean that I have a chance to. Uh, you know, block the ball or, or wait for the uh, the next touch. It, you have to really make up your mind, and that goes back to that whole red light, green light. Right here, there's two players coming at it. I'm just going to fake it. Move behind. Sometimes doing nothing is better than doing trying to do something. I know that sounds really dumb, but... Okay, he's going to finish this, I think. Nice. Good play. Oh, was that... Was that Ty saying that to himself? Ooh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, the toxicity. You know, Ty, uh, Ty's not too happy with that one. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta be... You gotta be, uh, aware of the fact that if you go and you overcommit, there could be a chance that your teammate overcommits as well, just like you did. And just because you did it first doesn't mean you're in any better situation, right? So, there I just pop it off the wall and pass it to myself, and that way I can flick it up. Wait behind my teammate. So, once again, I'm waiting in mid, so you can see I'm just ready for that, and then I pop up towards goal. That really is on the fact that uh, whoever was running at me was... Hi, chill, man. <laughs> this, gonna get, I don't know if we're going to get anything back from it. <laughs> we're all dookie. We're in gold. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. 
Oh, he's in plat. So we were we're uh we're looking pretty good here. Great shot, great chance. This is pretty dangerous to for me to jump in when my teammates there, but basket heat gets a good finish. I don't know why people I don't know why people complain with their teammates. You're just you're gonna see them once. I mean maybe like at the highest level you see your teammates a lot, so it's different. But here, like Ty just missed the ball again. I don't know. And he missed again. So then he's I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know what to say. A busty cat was just too strong there. Basket Heath also platinum, so we'll have to see the ranks uh, distribution here. I don't know if Ty is also gold. But I think a lot of people don't know that when you forfeit a game, uh, you actually uh, don't lose more MMR. So there's no reason to stick around. I think that's going to be it for this game. I think we're going to move on to the next one because this guy's just not leaving. So almost another case of the same, same situation as last time. All right, so he finally left, and my teammate was platinum, and he did really well. He actually played really well. I basically just rotated behind him, and uh, and played around his his touches and stuff. But uh, I think he was doing a really really good job. I think that this is gonna be where we're gonna start to see more mechanics and more uh, positioning and uh, better awareness from my teammates. I got Daddy McDouble on my team. It's kind of funny actually, considering my uh, picture is a cow. But I'm gonna grab this mid boost and stay with the ball here. Pop off the backboard. Teammate went for the boost steal, but that's a little bit uh, aggressive. Pop this to the wall. Make sure I keep possession. Pretty solid touch off the side wall. Should be a good position for my teammate. It's a good play by them to uh, cut that off quickly. Obviously, I would have beat them if I just went faster, but I'm just trying to be in the right position uh, that, that you should really be uh, whenever those passes come out. I'll pop this off the backboard. It should pop up a little bit. A good 50 50. So I, I just cut that off really, really early, and that actually might just pop in towards net. I'm away from my teammate here. Move a little bit slowly, but I got the back corner, so now we can wait for him. There we go. So I, I made sure to wait for them to make their first touch, and now my teammate can come in and make a shot. It's close. Probably could have been on target, but it's a good try. Right here, I'm waiting for my teammate to pass this middle. A bit dangerous once again these situations where the ball's really really close um to the the goal and you're not really going to do much if you hit that ball off the backboard because it's just going to roll oh well then <laughs> it's just going to roll towards the opponents so my teammate touching there didn't really need to happen i could have been there for that touch but maybe he's just not used to people positioning a little bit better that's fine So once again, I'm going to rotate in quickly like that to support my teammate. The guy misses, so I'm just going for a heavy block. Once again, don't need to do a full rotation back. You can see that my teammate made a touch out mid. And that way I can support him there. It's a good try. I'll pop to the corner instead of uh, instead of going right for a direct shot here. It's fine. I like that my teammate's trying to watch mid. Just covering those angles. The opponent's probably going to beat me there, so I'm going to wait and back off first. Then I'm going to make a turn on the clear. Wait for his touch. Oh, not the greatest, but I'll wait for the op opponent. i got to respect him, that he's closer to the ball and the ball's rolling towards him. It's okay. So now I'm going to go with the backboard and just make sure I pop it across, make a good clear. Teammate's way in the other corner, which he shouldn't be doing uh, when we're on defense like this. But it's okay. Oh, he missed. Okay, so I was trying to get a 50-50 there. I thought the guy was going to go for the ball, and he just drove past it. So um, right there, I was just waiting for my opportunity. My teammate was super far out of the play, and in those situations, you just want to make sure you stall out for him as long as possible. Um, obviously, they didn't play the ball too quickly, so there's a lot of time for him to get back on his own. But yeah, that was uh, not what I wanted to do there. I didn't really want to score that. I was just trying to get a 50-50. Good clear to the side. Should be my teammate to follow up. Good hit. This could be really dangerous for them. It's actually in. So well played. They, I, I expected that to be pretty dangerous for them since it was on target. But I thought they were going to maybe try and touch it in an aerial. But ended up not making a touch. That's okay. And we get a second goal. So two two goals that really haven't been that crazy. I think they're just not making good positioning. The other team seems a bit, bit chaotic. Let's see if he wants it. That works too. I'll pop this. I'll pop this around once, just like this, and just see what happens. So right here, uh, definitely needs to stay a little bit more present on the ball. 
and everyone's missing and it's in <laughs> and i scored okay so all i did was pop it off the corner um and you can see that if you just drive the wall and pop those off the wall it's very very dangerous for people that don't know how to clear the ball bit of a miss from uh julia there or julio reza sorry My ping just hit 2k for like 5 seconds. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but this uh, this game doesn't go above 999. <laughs> so, I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Let's see what they've got on the backboard here. So, a bit of a good clear. I'll wait in mid. Really awkward for my teammate. Good pressure by Julio there. Right here, I'm just going to pop this back corner. So, it stays safe. Teammate doesn't really know how to hit the ball off the wall there. So, I'm just going to play it safe again. Oh my. Okay, good clear. That was a little bit dangerous. Get a little more time to uh, to wait there. Right there, I'm just waiting for the, the bounce off the backboard. Um, and they get, I think my teammate gets a free clear there. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a dangerous situation. So what I do is I wait for the ball to come off the wall, then turn into it. Instead of trying to turn all the way, your, your car can't turn that fast. So me just waiting for the ball to, to turn off the or bounce off the corner there or the wall. You don't have to actually like, commit into that. I was in a tough situation, but if I just wait for the ball to bounce off... Right here, I can just turn immediately. See my teammate goes up for the clear. Good try. Pop it forward. Julio should leave that for his teammate, but they both rotate. Okay, Julio again. See how he's just hitting the ball as soon as possible and loses control? If you let the ball do a little more work, then you can, you know, you just let the ball roll right here. I'm just going to wait. Okay, well, my teammate went, but, <laughs> but I'm just going to, like, wait for the ball to do a little more work before it's in a good spot where I want to actually take control. That's sort of how you play the ball. You just wait for the ball to roll in a spot, like right here. If it's not in a good, comfortable spot, I just let the opponent touch it because it's not like it's in a dangerous spot. Once again, right here. Just wait for them. Now the opponents are in an awkward spot. Now I can just come in and make a touch. It's all about choosing your battles. Going for the first touch every single time isn't going to make you rank up. And it's going to just turn you into a ball chaser who doesn't really, you know, you know, value proper touches over positioning. Right here, I can wait for the ball to come to me first, then make the, the touch. Grab the mid boost from the opponents. Like I'm just like, I'm low key suffoc suffocating them just from the fact that I'm not trying to do everything on the field, um, which ends up making me do everything on the field because I'm not trying to do everything. Trying to do everything and doing everything is two different things. You know, if you're on a, on the ball 24/7, you're just gonna be behind the play and playing catch up the whole time. So, pretty solid game there. We're we're definitely uh, you know moving a little bit faster. A great shot for my teammate too. But I think my teammates are doing just as much, and he scored three goals. So. It's not like I'm doing anything crazy. Um, rude. Why you gotta be like that, man? He says it's a joke, but I don't think he. I don't think he believes that. But we're still not platinum one. So wow, we've we've played two full games in uh, Division Four here. So hopefully uh, this next this next game we should get it for sure. <laughs> I mean, what more could you really expect from a guy named Daddy McDouble? It's just. There's not much more to say. Oh my god, it's Shroud! <laughs> okay, I was a little bit late to that kickoff, and we got McDouble again. Um, so that's actually kind of funny that I was just talking about how we don't really run into the same people. So that pops over me, over me right here, so I can back off, let my teammate come in and clear it. I don't actually think that's Shroud, by the way, before people <laughs> say something in the comments. I don't even think Shroud plays this game. It's a good try. So right here is pretty dangerous. I'll move back first because that bad guys make a touch. Now I can touch it into the corner and keep it safe. Right here, I just have to wait for him to t make the touch instead. And that lets me make the clear for... Like he, he basically makes the clear for me by running into that ball. It's a great turn. There we go. Nice shot. Once again, my teammate's doing pretty well. He's in platinum, so we're we're definitely seeing more uh, higher level play. Making a good clear. <laughs> I can't tell if this guy is serious. A nice 50-50. I'll let my teammate get that boost. Since I have 50 to sit in mid, I'll let him barrel in. Make a challenge. Pop it off the backboard, see if my teammate comes in and makes a clear now. Nice little pop. Wait in the corner here, make a pop off the backboard. He may can try to make a clear, but he went way too fast. Right here, I'm still last, so I don't really want to challenge yet. 
that posturing is so important at this rank. I can tell. Like that's just that's just the way to rank up. Honestly, you just position in a spot where you think they think you're gonna go, and you don't do anything threatening because they're threatening themselves by just throwing the ball away. But a great clear again, and uh, we're up 2-0 already. So we got the corner boost. Right here, I'm just gonna jump off the wall and try and pap it, uh, pass it mid. A great clear there. So uh, they didn't jump up fast enough. All I did was jump up to the ball, and Daddy McDouble's carrying us here. So I thought it was Shroud. <laughs> yeah, man, he's deep in the uh, the gold. Yeah, it is Shroud. Shroud wouldn't say that. Okay, take the shot. Oops, that's fine. Make a good clear to the corner here. Timmy said, "What to save? It was a bit high, high, like a high, high aerial, but you know, it's definitely possible for someone to react that fast." Decent 50-50 from uh, Manalo there. All the mid, clear to the corner. Like I know we're not getting scored on too often in this series right now, and I might be doing too much, but at the same time, my teammates are doing a lot here. Um, I'm just kind of positioning in a spot, and I think that's the the issue, right? Is that at the, at this rank, there's no filter. Um, for what to go for, and that's mostly where you get scored on, just because there's no filter. Like that, fil like that guy right there. He just like throws the ball around his teammate, even though his teammate's there. It's just having a little more awareness, and that takes time to get used to. It's a high ball here. I'll let them go for it. So it clears to the corner. I can wait for this to bounce. Even if Manolo touched this, it's okay. And uh, big doubles, you know, staying on the ball, it's fine. I'm just gonna position once again, just waiting behind. You let your teammate cover one touch, you cover the other one. Okay, I'll go for this now. See if, uh, oh, bit of a misjudge there on the, uh, the turn, but that's okay. Once again, uh, fake Shroud making a touch that he doesn't need to. Pop it forward. Could be a good chance on an aerial. Let's we'll put it to the corner. It says wow. I'm not sure why he said wow. Maybe because they didn't shoot it on target. But, you know, I don't want to just keep scoring. Alright, let's see what this guy's got. <laughs> good try, good try. Try not to use too much boost, because you don't really need to use boost that much at this rank. Because you can just kind of uh, coast. Like even here, just like coast underneath the ball. Make a make a shot. And I, I don't really know what my teammate said wow for. Probably because I missed the ball or something. We didn't go towards target. But Shroud popping it up for me. Uh, and then kind of in a bad position. I can tell I had this. This is free. <laughs> um. Alright, that came right to me off this kickoff. So. That's, that's a free ball here. <laughs> I don't, everyone's having a conversation right now. This is ranked. We're supposed to be taking this seriously. Good try by Stroud there in the corner. Manilow's in a bit, bit of an awkward situation. I don't know why he's saying, he's saying that. I bet Stroud isn't actually that that high ranked if he plays this game. Because uh, like I talked about before, this game is nothing like any other game. You can be really good at other games and you really need to put the time in. Oh, good good, uh, good say, or, uh, stop by uh, Daddy there. <laughs> play there I don't know why this guy thinks it's shroud run kick off here let's wait for the next touch here there we go oh my goodness there's no way all right, well, we get another goal here. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not Shroud. I don't know why these guys think it's Shroud. Y y you want proof? <laughs> I am Shroud. <laughs> wow, you know what? He's he's looking like this is really Shroud here. He's got a lot of hours in Counter Strike. That's like pro level. I think that's like you know enough hours that you could be considered. You know, bro, I think he streamed 20 times that amount. 
Let's get me close to this game. Uh, obviously, that wasn't Shroud. Don't believe it. I showed you guys. <laughs> I don't know why people like are so easily, you know, uh, convinced that you know if you put your name and and uh, picture that it's somebody. Never, never fall for it, um, unless they have a tag that tells them tells you otherwise. Or if you look at their account and they actually have you know CS:GO uh, notoriety. But that's the the third game of the series or the episode so far today. Um, we got Daddy. Um, so far, twice. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, we made it to Platinum. Let's go. Oh my god, what is going on? These guys are so lost. <laughs> well, that was an interesting episode to say the least. Uh, we got Daddy McDouble twice and uh, I couldn't tell if he was joking at all or, or if he actually thought it was Shroud. But that was an interesting episode, uh, like I said. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you did, leave a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I do daily videos, and they all come out at 12 p.m. Eastern every day. Uh, but until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.